Okay, quiet on the set, everyone. Quiet. Welcome to Fashion Sense for the Wise and Stylish. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about buttons, specifically buttons related to Brooks Brothers shirts. I'm not an expert in this area. I do know that uh, we've had at least one viewer ask a little bit about buttons as well as some other things as well, like sizing and uh, important things like that. Today, we're going to talk mainly just about buttons and what I have seen on some of my more recent purchases with Brooks Brothers. So stay tuned. This is the king. And this is, uh, I don't know how exciting this is going to be, but this is going to be interesting, I think. So anyway, here we go. Uh, I am going to show you a sport shirt from Brooks Brothers. Sorry for that. I apologize. Um, and this is a button here. Oh gosh, look at those nails. Anyway, what you'll see here is a what what I see a lot on Brooks Brothers shirts, it's a a button that is a that looks a little bit like Mother of Pearl, and it says Brooks Brothers. So Brooks Brothers here, and if you turn it sideways, sometimes you'll see a layering here, where it's kind of white on the bottom and more clear on the top. See that? Very common. I don't think that's real mother of pearl. It feels like plastic. Uh, and I wouldn't expect that to be real mother of pearl at this price point. Uh, this is a shirt that I think is probably in the 80 some, nine, $92-ish range, full price. Uh, and anyway, I think it, it looks nice for this kind of shirt. I'm gonna show you their American-made shirt, sport shirt, and I'll, so you can see the difference here. So this one, I believe, has a real mother of pearl button on it. Now there's not a huge difference, but there is a, a little bit of a difference here. You can see the sheen, the shine in mother of pearl here. This one's kinda Coming undone a little bit. Let me see if I can feature a little bit better one here. You see that? So it's just a little bit, you can see a little bit of a pinkish tone. I don't know if the camera is really picking that up quite right, but uh, you can see that here. The backside, oh yeah, see that? Yeah, that's definitely a mother of pearl uh, button here. And I would say that most people are never going to notice that. You may not even notice that. I, it's not even something that I look at myself too much. In terms of Mother of Pearl, you may be thinking, well, what is that? Well, it comes from the Mother of Pearl, kind of an abalone shell. I don't know if it comes from this particular kind of shell. This is a shell that I got uh, diving or snorkeling. I wasn't even snorkeling. I just jumped off of a, a uh, kayak in uh, Northern California, open kayak and uh, picked a few of these things up. You can see the beautiful coloring here, the natural color. Uh, <clears throat> they processed this and turned it into a lot of different items, jewelry, uh, cufflinks, money clips, pocket knife. Uh, I don't know what you call this part here, but they turned it into a lot of different things. And one of the other things it's commonly used for are buttons on more expensive shirts. Um, another suit or another shirt manufacturer, uh, Ben Silver, they make um, some really nice shirts too. And most of their shirts, I think, if not all of them, well, I shouldn't say all, but I would say the vast majority of their shirts are made out of mother of pearl uh, buttons, but they're also expensive shirts. They're like $225 each. Now I'm showing you a another Brooks Brothers shirt here, and I don't think this is a mother of pearl. I could be wrong. Uh, this is just on one of their regular dress shirts. You can see there's not, it doesn't say Brooks Brothers on here. Uh, I think that might be more reserved for the, the sports wear. But it's a nice looking, uh, it's a nice looking button. I mean, you're not really gonna be able to tell that much difference between that uh, versus a real mother of pearl button. So I'm going to get that real Mother of Pearl button here and see if you can tell the difference between the two. 
It's not a huge difference in terms of the overall appearance. And let's face it, the reality is, is it's not really going to matter in the scheme of life. You know, there's a lot more important things to worry about in this, in this world than worrying about buttons. But anyway, you can kind of see the difference here in terms of the sheen and the, and the color. So anyway, uh, that shows you a little bit of difference there. I want to show you another Brooks Brothers shirt here. This is their French cuff shirt. And I thought it would be interesting to show you this one, too, as you can see on the... Uh, ...button here. It looks really nice, actually. I don't think that's a real Mother of Pearl. Could be. I don't know. I looked online, and it, it didn't say. I would think that if it were, they would be trying to feature that. Uh, and it didn't say. It just... It, I don't think it said anything. Um, and also, I, I'm going to do a special on cufflinks. I don't wear a lot of French cuff shirts. Uh, but uh, here is a, a real pearl French cuff with uh, a mother of pearl background here. And this was purchased from a, a dear loved one who served in the armed forces and got this in Japan. And uh, it's a Mickey, Mickey Moto. Oops, it just snapped apart. I can fix that easily. Anyway, it's an oldie. It's probably 50 years old. So there you go. A little bit about buttons. And also, one thing that I did want to tell you too, I would be remiss if I didn't share this with you uh, in terms of, you know, buttoning shirts. Some of the shirts come with uh, just one button, as you can see right here on the cuff. Others uh, come with with more. Now, this is a um, the new polo shirt uh, where they basically they're they're uh, saying that they are making this after the old polo shirts from yesteryear. I did a special on this one, and um, this one you can see I just got it out of the out of the uh, washer. Um, but you can see here, this is the button that they have on the new polo shirt. And it's, it has two buttons here. So you have two on the cuff. And that allows you to, well, I don't have to explain this to you for you to understand, but you can either button it at this level, or if you want to tighten it down a little bit, you can have it at this level too. My father uh, always insisted on recommending to me at least that I button it on the smaller size because that way it doesn't look as sloppy as one that's like this. He always felt like that was kind of a sloppy look when you've got this extra button over here. And the reality is, you know, if it's hot outside, um, you know, I may go to this other button here just to let a little bit more uh, air in. I think if somebody has a little bit more of a bigger build, they may want to go to this outer uh, button as well. Um, but I do think it, I, I will have to agree with him in the sense that I do think it looks better if it's on that, if you don't have that extra button exposed. The other thing that it allows you to do too is if you're wearing like a really nice watch that you want to kind of show off. I know I don't uh, personally do this, but I think a lot of, a lot of guys sometimes if they're wearing a big bulky watch, they will kind of want to show it off. And so if you have it on that tighter button, it allows the, the watch to stay on this side of the cuff. You could even kind of fold it over a little bit like this, and then that way you can really show off that, uh, that nice-looking uh, sports watch that you have. And it's kind of, that's, kind of, that's actually kind of a nice look. It's kind of a, a some people might think that's kind of a, uh, kind of a douchebag thing to do, perhaps. But uh, it is something that is kind of a nice look, you know, if you've got the right kind of watch. Anyway, I appreciate you staying watching the show today and stay tuned for more useless videos. Thanks.